if you turn 30 and you're not getting any roles, I need you to pull yourself out. Why don't you contribute something to society? If today was the day that you had to stop acting, how would you feel? Cages or wings? Which do you prefer? I mean, it seems like an easy answer. Take a moment and reflect. Everyone wants wings until it comes time to fly. Some people do find the four walls of a cage to be comforting. It's, it's safe. A metal cubicle shielding you from the chaos of the world. They clip their wings before they have even tried to fly. For the few of us who risk getting burned for flying too close to the sun, for those who sacrifice their lives for it, just a chance to see the light. Thank you. The world needs more eagles, less parakeets. Did you make your decision about college yet? No, not yet. Yeah. I sent my short out to a couple of programs. Good. <coughs> I uh, also applied to a couple of pre-law programs. You know, I'm still waiting here back. But I still have a bunch of time before I have to, you know, make my decision. What do you so. want to do with law? Become bad? Oh, oh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Um, but I, I don't know. It's not the worst idea. <coughs> yeah. but, hey, you know, I'm, I'm still really interested in film, too. And if I stick with it, I can act in my movies like you used to, you know? And if you stick with lawyering, you will wake up every day hating your life, wanting to die. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, how did they take it when you told them you didn't want to do business anymore? I want to drop out of business school. We'll talk about it later. You're just emotional right now. I'm sure uh, convincing dad wasn't as easy. I think I, think I didn't ask for permission. Hello, <laughs> 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 folks. How are we doing? Good. Hey, how are you? Going on? I gotta get you a drink. May I have an iced tea, please, with lemon? Sure. Never water. Well, I got gotcha. you. Darling, what animal is this character channeling for you? Uh, a rat. Then be the rat. Hi, my name's Charlie Shepard, and I'm going to be reading a monologue from Red Shoes. My aunt used to live in Paris. I remember she would always okay, come Okay, that's all, thanks.
once again, I hear nothing. I put my heart and my soul into every audition, and I just don't Charlie. hear anything back. And I just, I, no, I mean it. Like, I'm here all day. I bust my ass at this diner, and then I go home, change for my auditions, right until the sun comes up, and then I'm here for the morning hey, shift. Hey, Charlie. I just, I just don't understand. It's crazy. Like, I, 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 I I've been meaning to tell you I'm going to school for law. I'm uh, starting a pre-law track at NYU. They told me to forget them, that there was no witch or yellow brick roads here, but I know what I saw. I know what I still see. Nobody believes me. So I just smile and say, if I ever go looking for my heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard. That's it. We, we can't put the show on anymore. Please, Nicole, give me one more chance. I, I know that we can make this something special if we just get people in the Char seats. Charlie, you are, you're it. such a bright mind and a good actor. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love the show. It just, it wasn't received well. Okay, this thing happens all the time. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into this show. Okay, anyone with two eyes can see that, but... I think you're missing the point. Okay, theater isn't just people reciting lines, it's... it's creating life. If you dig deeper and you put out something that's personal, that's your best shot at connecting with your audience, okay? Because at the end of the day, it has to mean something to them. And in order for it to mean something to them, it, it has to mean something to you. It's all trivial. I was just finishing up the closing arguments for tomorrow before coming over. Good man. We're almost done. They're gonna settle soon. I can feel it. Should have seen him earlier. The angle he took, the argument, it's like nothing I'd ever seen before. It's truly remarkable. Yeah, what can I say? I had the best mentor. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gonna like suck each other's dicks all night? Or... Enough of that. I'm sorry, but that's the way adults talk when they have real jobs. At least he can support himself. Charlie wrote and is starring in his own show. What is it called again, Charlie? 
El Dorado. That's what it is, El Dorado. He says it's like a take on the Wizard of Oz and he's like crazy or something. Well, the premise is like, what if Dorothy was a man in a mental institution? And we see him slowly descend into madness as he explores the world of his hallucinations. Oh, sounds so amazing. I already know I'm going to love it. <laughs> we are all so proud of you. Uh, how's that working out for you? Fine. Thanks for asking. You should be doing more with your time. You had one of the top accounting minds in the Stern School of Business and you threw it away. I'm sorry I wanted to do something worthwhile with my life. <laughs> I don't see how gallivanting on a stage is worthwhile. What's worthwhile in that? Because I wake up every day happy that I'm able to do what I love. Yeah, and you go to bed hungry every night because you won't get a real job. I mean, why, why do you still love acting? Why do you still love me? Like, like, don't chastise your brother for actually wanting to do something with his life. No, what's that supposed to mean? You dropped out of business school, threw away a life of stability to play dress up. You're 29 years old, God damn it! When are you gonna say enough is enough and decide to get serious with your life? Get serious? Are you fucking kidding me? I am serious. I bust my ass every day. I live paycheck to paycheck to put on my own shows. What about that isn't serious? What do you have to show for it? Wow, this has been great. Thanks for having me. Charlie, stop being so sensitive. We just want what's best for you. Merry Christmas. I'm just trying to look out for him. Maybe if you took my advice, I'd end up a little more like his brother. Hey, Susan. Um, I, I know it's late, but call me, please. Okay. Just, just give me a call back when you can. I'll explain. I just need an answer to my expectations. If you need, just give me a call. I'm sorry. If today was the day that you had to stop acting, how would you feel? I know we've seen better days, but. Didn't think I forget, did you? So, um, um how's the how's the diner? Fine. How's um? Lawyering. No. Lawful. Uh, look, man, I gotta, I gotta get going, but um, happy 
happy 30th birthday, Charlie.